Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be reviewing uh, or comparing this Sydney Sleep Shredded Memory Foam Pillow um, uh, and compare it to the kind of king of all king of all pillows, the Coop Home Goods Shredded Memory Foam Pillow. This is the original uh, Coop Home Goods. It's not one of the special edition weird ones. This is the regular old standard Coop Home Goods Shredded Memory Foam Pillow. Uh, I'll link both of these down below. There'll be affiliate, Amazon affiliate links uh, so that I do get a small percentage for each click and purchase you get. Um, so, But you don't have to use my link. You can just type it on Amazon if you don't want to. Cost you the same either way. Uh, if you feel like I, this video is helpful for you at the end and you want to show me some love, then you could use my link. If not, no biggie. Now let me tell you about these pillows. I've had this Coop Home Good for probably two years now. Um, this Sydney Sleep, this company sent it out to me. They wanted me to review this. A shredded memory foam pillow if you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper is like a game changer. This Coop Home Goods pillow uh, changed my sleep life for the better permanently. Like I'll always compare other pillows to this. So when I go sleep at hotels, I'm gonna hate their pillows. When I sleep at other people's houses, I'm gonna hate their pillows because they're not this. This pillow is amazing. Your standard pillow, like you go to Walmart and you get a two pack of pillows for $24. Those pillows are not um, great. And you might think they are, but they're not until you sleep on something like a Coop Home Goods pillow or this very much identical, almost identical um, Sydney Sleep uh, pillow. I'm not going to go into the specifics about it because this is a comparison between the two, but get one of these pillows. They're great. Or at least a shredded memory pillow. So here in a second, I'm going to lay down and I'm going to show you me experiencing each pillow like in at the time. I, I've tried them both for a while now. I've had this Sydney Sleep for three weeks now or two weeks. Um, I've been sleeping off and on and trading it off with my Coop Home Goods pillow. One thing I've noticed is that I haven't noticed a difference. So like I don't feel like I'm getting worse sleep with this Sydney Sleep pillow. Um, they're both higher end pillows. They're both like $80 to $100 pillows. The Coop Home Goods being more expensive, the Sydney being a little bit less expensive, but still like an $80 pillow. Um, they're an investment to make, but your sleep is something you should definitely invest in. They both have this kind of like, um, it's not, I forget what the outer stuff is made out of, but it's very similar. It's a synthetic, um, it's kind of thick material. Um, it's not like just a thin membrane. This is like thicker material, this casing. They both have like uh, little bags of extra shredded memory foam that you can add in or you can take more out and they all like unzip. I'm not sure where this one unzips at. Let me see here. Yeah, top. So this one unzips from the top, and then you have the thinner membrane inside of here, and then the Coop Home Goods, I believe, slides from the side. Yeah, it's the side. So it zips out from the side, and you have the thinner membrane inside here. Pretty much the same exact membrane as that one. Now, here in a second, again, I'll lay down and I'll show you the differences between the two or the lack thereof. As far as like the actual structure of the pillow and what's inside of it and how it sleeps and how far your head sinks down into it, they're both fairly identical. I sleep a little bit, I'm a side sleeper, but I sleep a little bit different where I have my arm under underneath the pillow and my head on top of the pillow. So it's like a pillow sandwich, my arm and my head being the bread. I don't know if I mentioned it, but Sydney Sleep did send me that pillow out for free. I do accept some things free sometimes to review. Um, so just so you know, that was the thing, but I'm gonna tell you the truth no matter what. I don't really care about a free pillow. So let's get into me laying down, give you a camera angle, me laying down and like showing you the different specifics of each pillow. So you can kind of experience that with me. So the Coop Home Goods pillows right here, Here's the Sydney sleep pillow right here. So functionality wise, when you're side sleeping, they both to me sleep the exact same. When I have the Coop Home Goods pillow and I'm sleeping just side without my arm underneath the pillow, how I usually sleep, if it's just like this, to me, this feels really good. It feels supportive. It doesn't feel like too much. My nose is almost at the level that it sinks down to but it's not enough to like block a nasal passage or anything. Same thing with the Sydney Sleep. Like I sink in just enough, or I maybe even have like a, a quarter inch more room. It might be just a little bit more springy um, to where I still have enough room to where it's not blocking off a nasal passage or anything like that that's gonna stop me from breathing. But it also feels almost identical to the, the Coop Home Goods pillow. Now the difference here is with this, with this Sydney Sleep pillow is it has this curved, edge to it, right? Now, personally, that doesn't do much of anything for me because I sleep with my hand under the pillow like this and it, and it, and it sits like that. So there's no like benefit at all for it for me the way I sleep. That's how I sleep is just like this. I'm closing my eyes because naturally I just want to relax like this. Um, but if you are a side sleeper and you don't put your arm under, then you have like this kind of shoulder room here that you can get a little deeper on the pillow with. It's kind of cool. Um, same with a back sleeper, whatever kind of psychopath sleeps on their back, I don't know. But you have like this 
it just, if you feel like you're deeper into the pillow. Also, if you're taller, I bet it would help. I'm noticing right now that my feet are a little bit farther off the edge of the bed because I'm up higher on the pillow with my head closer to the headboard, where normally I'd be a little bit lower because I wouldn't be able to get my shoulders. But now my shoulders can go all the way up here. So if you're like six, six and up, um, it might just give you that little extra little bit of clearance you need to keep your heels from hanging off the edge of the bed, maybe. Um, but functionally, this does have a little bit of a difference in the Coop Home Goods pillow, where like right right now, my all of my shoulder and the back of my from my neck down is flat on the bed, and my head's elevated on the pillow. If I le stay in the same position with the Coop Home Goods, now my you might be able to see this shoulder's higher. Let me see. Yeah, this shoulder is sitting on the edge of the pillow, and so I'm a little bit higher. But also, you can just kind of squish up, I guess, when I'm thinking about it now. You can just squish this pillow up. <laughs> so it's not that big of a deal, I don't think, um, functionality-wise. I think the half arc is cool, and I like the fact that you can get, like, the, the shredded memory foam coupe home goods feel for a little bit cheaper. Although this is, like, an $80 pillow. The coupe home goods is, like, close to a $100 pillow. Um, and trust me, investing in your sleep is very important. And I would definitely recommend one of, to get a pillow that really helps, especially if you're a side sleeper, getting like a shredded memory foam pillow is, man, it really helps. I've had this Coop Home Goods pillow for close to two years, probably at least. And it's still amazing. It's like it was brand new. Um, what a great pillow that is. I can't say enough nice things about that. This feels like the Coop Home Goods very much. Now, long longevity, durability, I don't know. But this Sydney Sleep pre presents an interesting kind of quirk to the Coop Home Goods pillow where it's a shredded memory foam. It has this kind of cool outer layer thing where, where, it, where it sleeps cool, just like the Coop Home Goods. Um, I used to flip, you know, you flip to the, the cool side of the pillow all the time. That I'll flip like once a night sometimes with the Coop Home Goods. Like if I get real hot, I'll flip to the other side of the pillow. But it's not constant over and over. Um, the problem that arises from this pillow is that, you know, you have this weird shape. You can't fit a regular, you can fit a regular pillowcase on there, but it's going to look like your pillow has cancer or something and there's like a chunk missing out of it. Uh, so whether that bothers you or not um, is, man, it kind of, that kind of feels cool though. Okay. I'm, a, I'm experiencing new things about the pillow as I lay on it more and more. Um, I haven't, I've never really laid on my back on it because all I do is side sleep. Um... Wow, that's kind of cool. Okay, so it's like hugging you almost. If you put the arm, instead of keeping the flaps down like this, then sleeping like this, if you just like that, it's like it's hugging you. It feels kind of good. I also feel like I've maybe broken the, the Coop Home Goods in more, like to fit me like perfectly. Like, or I, don't, I don't know if it's, that's the way to put it. It's like the foam has kind of like settled in and like it's it's just... This pillow is brand new and it just feels brand new where this, you know, you get your pillow when it's just right after having it for a while and it just feels good. It, the Coop Home Goods pillow get, gets to that stage and it just stays there in that, in that, in that stage of just perfect where I'm assuming this will too. Um, I'll use them off and on for a while and I might do like a one or two year review after using these for a while. Um, but it, it the Coop it, to me feels a little bit more comfortable just because I've broken it in to be like the perfect pillow for me. And there are pros and cons to having this curve, of course, like the pillowcase thing. Like you can't really have a normal pillowcase on there without it looking anemic. It is kind of cool to have the little wing tips of the pillow, like if they wrap around your shoulders and kind of sit there, it's like you can like move to the side and have your neck supported a little bit, I guess, like a travel kind of pillow, like one of those airplane pillows. Um, but also I like this meat back here as well to kind of slightly elevate me. Um, and this also feels like a little bit better at the angle where I'd watch my TV. Like I don't feel like I'm closing my throat off, you know, all the way. The top of my back and shoulders are kind of down against the bed. And this gets me a little bit of a steeper angle that my head is at. So it's a little bit more steeper of an angle. Um, not a whole lot. All right, let me get up and we'll discuss a little bit more. So final thoughts on the two. Um, the Sydney Sleep is like 10 or 15 bucks cheaper. Although I've never really heard of the Sydney Sleep before. I think it's a relatively new brand. Um, for them to come out and charge that much, that's a little bit of a bold claim. The Coop has been around for a while. People know this thing. A lot of people have raving reviews about this. Although this Sydney Sleep does feel almost exactly like the Coop. Um, it's a little bit springier. It's got a little more spring in its step because it's brand new. But it'll eventually wear in and be just like this Coop Home Goods pillow. Either one's a great choice. Um, it depends on the pros and cons of this little half moon curve cutout. 
Do you sleep on your back and you want to tuck your shoulders in there or have this kind of wrapped around your, um, as you sleep, then maybe that's for you. If you care about the aesthetics of your bed and looking at your bed and it's part of like you're in a, like a studio apartment and you make your bed every day to look cool and nice so it looks like it fits with your feng shui, then this with a pillowcase, uh, with a regular pillowcase is not gonna look the best. Or a standard pillow rectangle will look better. They both come with like the extra bags of the shredded memory foam to stuff in there if you want more or take more out if you want less. But the way they were packed from the factory, both of them has been pretty spot on for what I wanted. So again, I think they're essentially the same pillow being they're both shredded memory foam. Um, I think it's just the this the added this utilitarian maybe curve of this adds a unique um, opportunity for somebody that wants that. So if you want the so if you want the Coop Home Goods pillow feel and you want to save a few bucks um, when the Coop Home Goods are, aren't on sale, then get one of these Sydney Sleep ones. I would definitely recommend it. Um, they feel great. They feel just like a Coop Home Goods pillow. But if you don't want to risk like not knowing for sure if you'll like this curved cutout then just get the Coop Home Goods pillow. Again, I'll link each one down below. There'll be Amazon affiliate links. You don't have to click that. You can just you can just search it on Amazon. It does help me out. It gives me a comm small commission each time you click it. It costs you the same either way. And so if the video was helpful for you, you can use my links. You can also hit the thumbs up button if you like. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.